to the channel. Today I'm going to be putting a uh, block heater kit here in the uh, Bobcat T650. It didn't come with one originally and last winter it got pretty cold here and it was kind of hard starting. And uh, this will just make starting easier this winter, save on the battery, cut down on some wear and tear on the engine. And uh, this heater kit is from Bobcat, it was a hundred bucks. Comes with everything you need to put it in and the directions. Uh, this engine here is the Kubota V3307. And I'll show you where uh, the heater goes. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta drain the uh, coolant. So if you haven't replaced your coolant and you're gonna put this in, now's a good time to get that coolant flush done. But I've recently changed mine, so I just drained it out and uh, drain mine right here in this tub. And I'll show you where to drain it, how to drain it, and then we'll start putting this uh, block heater in. So we're looking at the back of the engine here, and this is on a 2012 T650. And if you look right here above the oil filter, there's a hose. So what you wanna do is remove this clamp Get you uh, whatever container you're going to use. So I use this tub here, drain my coolant in it. Um, put it under here, pull this off. It's going to drain out of this hose and it's going to drain out of this metal elbow here. So it'll come out pretty quickly and here in a second it'll die down and then you'll come up here, remove this uh, radiator uh, coolant uh, recovery bottle up here remove that cap and that'll uh, let some air in and it'll start flowing out faster then we'll come down here to the uh, plug in here in the head so the size of this is a 17 millimeter allen that's what I use to get it that's what fits it if you come in here next to the air filter you'll see right here is where I took it out of. So right there in the head, you'll see this uh, big Allen head. It'll be in there just like that. And you'll pull it out. So once you get your coolant drained down and you start loosening this off, it'll speed up draining it faster. And once you got it low enough, no coolant runs out there, out the hole. I just hooked this hose back up that way I ain't got to drain the whole thing so then you want to take like a wire brush if yours is pretty rusty and uh, clean it up make sure the threads are good and clean and now we're gonna start putting in the uh, thermostat so in this kit it fits several different models you get an adapter the heater the plug and the uh, plug cover that goes on it and there's a book here that has all the different machine models serial numbers and then they tell you the figure uh, that you look at to find uh, where the holes so they got different thermostats for different machines and I don't know why I keep calling it a thermostat different heaters that uh, for our application, the 3307, it's going to be figure 28. As you can see, it's on the very back page. So the first thing it wants us to do is we remove the threaded plug out of the rear of the head and then install the threaded adapter in the hole. So we're going to put this in. We're going to put some thread sealer on it and we're going to install it in there. It says install thread sealer to all threads and tighten the adapter, which is this, to 45 foot pounds. So I'm going to thread seal this and put it in there first. Okay, so I got my thread sealer put on here. Now we're going to put it in the block here. Okay, so we're going to take this plug here. We're going to thread it in there. I'm 
going to torque it down to 45 pounds. So the only socket I had that would fit this is a uh, 30, 33 millimeter. I had to remove the air cleaner so I could get in here because it's a deep socket. But to remove it, it's just two bolts, 9 16 And undo your uh, sensor here that tells if your air filter's plugged up or not. And undo the hose clamp going to the turbo. So now I'm going to tighten this down to 45 pounds. So I got this set at 45 pounds on the torque wrench. That's it right there. So now we're going to thread in the heating element. So now for the heating element, this socket's an inch and an eighth. And on the directions, it doesn't specify what to torque this. It just says 45 pounds, so I'm going to set this at 45 pounds as well. So that's all there is to it on that. Then we're going to take our plug here. That just plugs in. Somehow. Once we get that plugged in, then it says to secure the plug to the glow plug wire. So I'm just going to run mine around and route it down here to where it just plugs in on the back of the engine with some zip ties. Alright, so I got my cable routed and since everything else on here is pretty much in conduit, you can see I just wrapped my plug in conduit, ran it up here, zip tied it there, came down this wire loom here, zip tied it right there. Come back around the sensor, down, zip tied it to this starter cable, and then it sits right here, zip tied to there. So pretty easy access, shouldn't be in the way. So now we're going to fill up the coolant and see if it works tonight. <laughs> 